It's the prayer people in the United States that Thank God is Jesus. looking to to change things, not the president, not the Congress, not the Supreme Court. He's looking to the church. The Los Angeles Spirit-Led Prayer Conference. While we were in that prayer time, the Lord dropped Los Angeles in my heart. I got up off that floor with a clear assignment that I was to return to Los Angeles and join not just believers, not just any believers, but the people who know something about using their faith, connecting it with prayer, and that we were to come together into a, a faith-filled environment and lift our hearts and cry out for the reign of the Spirit. Well, you know, Terry, with all of that, you can just see how important California has been to yeah. the calling of God in all of our lives here at Kenneth Copeland Ministries. But now that brings us to the future. Uh, even though we don't know it all, we see a little piece of it, at least for Terry and me. And we wanted to share that with you, what, what God is showing us about California. About our future here. Yeah. And about our future where He's leading us. Now, in Deuteronomy chapter 12, verse 11, I'll read this to you. It says, There shall be a place, this is the Amplified, there shall be a place which the Lord your God shall choose to cause His name and His presence to dwell there. To it you shall bring all that I command you. Mm. You know, I believe that there are appointed places that the Lord chooses to be like touchstones for the pouring out of His presence and for it to spread from those places uh, through to, to wherever He's appointed for it yeah. to go. You know, when He spoke that verse, it was had to do with Jerusalem. But I believe there are many places uh, in the whole world where things like that happen, where He appoints a place for the presence of God. He's chosen it. And at that place, then His presence will spread right. to other places other cities or the nation or whatever God appoints for it to be. And things like that have happened in Los Angeles many times before. I mean, he, he's redirected the whole body of Christ as mm -hmm. well as our mm -hmm. nation with outpourings like the one that happened on a Azusa Street. And, you know, I believe that that appointment has also, uh, we've seen that take place in some of the meetings that we've had there and the right. things that we've been right. talking about over these last 30 years. You know, some people might think, well, that's just because Los Angeles is such a big cultural center. Well, that, it's true. There's a lot of people there, and that makes it a great place for evangelism. But that does not necessarily mean that it's an appointed place for God to open the heavens. He can pick any place He wants for something like that. Let's say like a Topeka, Kansas, you know, in the early 1900s, a great outpouring there. But... We can tell from the past, if nothing else, not to mention the witness of our spirit, that Los Angeles is one of those places, and it's one of those places in a very significant way. And that's why we're coming to Los Angeles in September for a spirit-led prayer conference. You know, I believe that He wants to gather all of us into Him and then lift us up in His presence to do business before Absolutely. the throne of God. Absolutely. And right now it's serious business. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm pastors, our families, our cities, our churches, our nations, our nation. we all need an awakening yeah. to God. Absolutely nothing else will save us. Nothing else will do. Join Terry Copeland Pearsons with Patsy Caminetti for the Los Angeles Spirit-Led Prayer Conference, September 27th through 29th at the Marriott Burbank Airport Hotel and Conference Center. Come be a part and volunteer as an usher, greeter, or at book tables. Join us with a volunteer meeting Friday, September 25th at 7 p.m. at the Burbank Marriott. For more information, visit kcm.org. The Los Angeles Spirit-Led Prayer Conference for such a time as this.